Hi everyone and welcome. In the previous video we have covered that how you can subscribe to any MQTT topics and read the tag value in the Fuxa Vipscara. So your MQTT topic can contain the JSON payload or the row payload. Okay, we have covered that in the previous video that how to read the JSON payload and how to extract the tag value from that JSON payload. And if your payload is the row payload, then how you can create a tag and extract the payload data and you can see the tag values here in the Fuxa Scada. Now you can use this tag anywhere in your dashboard for monitoring or update purpose. Now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to publish the tag data from Fuxa Web Scada to any topic on the MQTT broker. Right now you can see on my MQTT broker I have this two topic system and the weather. Okay, I want to create one topic using the Fuxa Scada and in that topic I want to publish my tag value. And the tag value I'm going to publish is my Morbus tag value. So basically we are going to convert our Morbus data to MQTT data using Fuxa Webscara. So here you can see I have this Morbus slave software up and running for holding register 0 and for holding register 1 it is updating the values at every second. Now I want to read this data in the Fuxa Scada and after reading this data I want to publish that data on my MQTT broker. So how you can do that? So that thing we are going to cover in this video. So, so if you are using Fuxa Scada to read data from your Siemens PLC, Alien Bidley PLC or any other PLC via Morbus protocol, then you can read data in Fuxa Scada and then you can transfer that data to any MQTT broker. It can be your local MQTT broker or it can be your cloud MQTT broker. So your Fuxa Scada can act as a data delivery agent or you can say MQTT publisher. So let's see how you can configure your Fuxa Scada. So here is my Fuxa Scada editor. And here you can see my Morbus device is also connected and my MQTT device is also connected. And I am reading the tag value of holding register 0 and holding register 1 in the Fuxa Scada. I want to publish this two tag value to my Mosquito MQTT broker. So what I can do is I can go to the MQTT device. Here I can add one tag. And instead of subscribe option, I'm going to use the publish option. And I'm going to publish the tag data on Morbus topic. Okay. And uh, after that, we will add attribute. And the attribute is tag value. So I'm going to add holding register zero tag value here. Okay. And we are going to publish the data in the JSON format. So I will choose the JSON format here. And the key for the first holding register 0 is hr0 okay so your payload will look like this in the uh, mqtt explorer okay and we will add one more attribute here which is hr1 and here in the tag you have to select hr1 okay now if you want to add the timestamp as well okay in the payload then also you can add it so you can click here in the key you can specify timestamp and in the type you can specify the timestamp okay and it will automatically update the timestamp when it will publish the value to our mqtt broker now we will click on this publish button so once you click on this publish button this tag is added here you can see that in the background and it is publishing the data now i can open these two things parallelly and here you can see we have data for holding register 0 and the holding register 1 along with the timestamp you can see every two seconds it will update okay now i can also generate a graph from here for holding register zero and for holding register one so right now fuxa scada is acting as one agent which can read the data or collect the data from any field devices and then it will transfer or deliver the data to mqtt broker and your broker can be anywhere if you have successfully established the connection between your Fuxa SCADA and MQTT broker, then it doesn't matter where your broker is. Fuxa SCADA will read the data from your field devices and it will upload or it will publish the data to MQTT broker. And after that, you can read this data from anywhere in the world. You can create your own dashboard from anywhere in the world and you can read this data. Okay, so I hope this thing is clear that how you can use Fuxa Scada as a protocol converter from Morbus to MQTT 
or you can also use Siemens PLC to connect with Fuxa SCADA and you can also convert the Siemens PLC data to MQTT. Also, you can use Allen Bedley PLC and you can connect with Allen Bedley PLC, read the data from Allen Bedley PLC and you can transfer or publish the data from Allen Bedley PLC to any MQTT broker. So if you still have any question or any doubt in this, then you can always ping me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere. But uh, I hope this thing is clear. Also, you can edit this tag and also you can, you know, uh, provide the topic name here as well and you can click on this publish okay so it will update it and it will publish the data here if you have to use this Morbus name anywhere then you can use it after that so I hope this thing is clear and uh, yeah if you still have any question or any doubt then feel free to ask me in the comment section or telegram Instagram WhatsApp or also in the LinkedIn or also you can send me a mail so we will meet you in the next video Okay, till then, take care, goodbye, and thank you.